Ayurveda's idea is life positive. Swasthasya, swastha, rakshitam. Preserve the health of the well. From the community point of view, very economical model. On a given day, about 2% of the people will be sick. 98% are well. If you can try and preserve their wellness without getting them to go into sickness, won't you save millions and millions and trillions of dollars? Now, you all want cancer to go away from this world, no? Is that right? Anybody wants cancer to be here more? More? No? A lot of people want cancer to be here more. Government has permitted 240 chemicals to be used in various human things, including eating things, which are all carcinogenic. I'll give you an example. Many of you don't have lipstick. You know the lipstick you put? It's got so many pro-estrogens that a study recently showed that the western breast size has increased one size more. 30 size has become 31 in the last 25 years because the pro-estrogens in lipstick. I wrote to the, the airlines here, I wrote to, uh, what's his name, Goyal, because he insists that the air hostess put not lipstick once, but with, before each flight they must put the lipstick. Otherwise they are, they are punished for that, and the supervisor see and say, your lipstick is not up to the mark. So I wrote to him, don't kill your girls. With After all, why, why lipstick? Probably people don't know the history of lipstick. Did you know that? How many of you know the history of lipstick? Nobody. Shall I tell you? Yes, Secret. The prostitutes in Paris, they were not selling their wares by, you know, exposing themselves. They were putting the color of their vagina onto the lips so to sell that idea to the, the prospective customers. That's how lipstick started. Different colors. Jodi, I should not have said that. Anyway, unparliamentary. But that's exactly what it was. And we propose that today. A newborn baby in America today has 242 chemicals in the umbilical cord, which means it has come from the mother. Now, do you, are you really thinking of uh, curtailing cancer? I don't think so. There are 4,000 articles which are not published, hidden, not published uh, under the carpet, which say eating meat regularly makes the body system acidic and that's one of the very important causes of cancer. Did you know that? You knew that? I see, I didn't know this. Government permits that? Government helps you that? You know the scent you put? Pitch, pitch and all. It has got so many chemicals, carcinogens. You put sunscreen, there's an advertisement. Don't go in the sun, you'll get skin cancer. If skin cancer were due to sun's rays, every dog, Every, uh, every uh, uh, buffalo, every uh, cow should have had skin cancer and become extinct. Because you expose only some parts of your body. The whole back of these quadrupeds exposes the sun all the time he is out. It's a great thing. Eh? We saw that uh, Swamiji now has uh, changed little. Kartikeyan's house, he was, he was doing a scientific study on a Swamiji. He will not eat anything. And uh, Kalama, Kartikeyan's great wife, was alive those days and she was keeping a careful watch on him. He'll not uh, take any food, stand there for four hours and look at the sun without batting an eyelid. And his eyes were examined in Moorfield Eye Hospital in London, the oldest and the best eye hospital. They said his eyes are the beautiful eyes. Today we know, there's a nice study if you want to know. Huh. Nobody is putting uh, dark glasses inside. Using the dark, dark glasses is one of the ways you are preventing the ultraviolet rays from the sun entering your retina and making your eyes good. And you would be surprised. The ultraviolet rays of the sun going through the retina stimulate your pineal gland, which is a master of the whole orchestra of endocrines. So half of your problem is because you put on a... Some of our politicians put it on at night also. <laughs> because they can't look you in the eye. You know. It's so nice to look at the sun, so nice to be in the sun. I take an opportunity in the airport and all then, you know, the queue is there for getting into the plane in some, some southern, it's very hot sun. I will be the last in the queue because I want to get more of the sun at least because, you know, otherwise we are all the time inside the house. We don't go out. I tell women, 
just sit in the sun for one hour in the morning, one hour in the evening, go for a walk, you don't have to take anything for your bones. Your bones will be fine. And this people don't do because ladies are afraid. Sunscreen is the cause of skin cancer. Government permits the sunscreen. So we don't want diseases to go because if disease go away, what will we do? Truly true. So, now coming back to this caste system. In the life positive movement, let us end this caste system. Let us get everybody who says he is a healer together into one on one table. And it can't be done independently because if you talk to a allopath or what you call allopath, all, all, everything is allopathy, remember that, except homeopathy, all things are allopathy. Ayurveda is also allopathy. Now if you ask a western doctor to suggest an Ayurvedic fellow for a treatment, he won't do that. And you can't ask them to come together. What we do in our research center in Chennai is, when we find we can't do anything for a particular person, we know some Ayurvedic people and homeopaths who are very good, and we call them and say, look, take charge of this patient. And what we do is we record all the things and send the patient there and record the outcomes also. So we're building a big database. And we have a few people. There, there's one lady in, uh, in I won't tell the name because it will be advertising her. She can do very well for renal failures. See, America, I want to send her to America because in America there's a rule now, though we say Western medicine is very good now, if you are 65, you are not given a kidney transplant even if your kidney is failing. For the rest of your life, you will be on dialysis. And dialysis is such a nasty thing if you want to be on. If you are 65, no, no transplant. This is the medicine that we practice. What we should do, and uh, Ahul Waliyaji should strive to do this, because, you know, for all these things, you need money, man. Without money, nothing happens. Money is the thing that runs this world. And I always say, money is the cause of all diseases. Did you know that? No, you didn't. I'll tell you this study. There's a nice study which shows that. If you have a money, you must push this idea. We must get these people together and have a database which says who is good for treating what. A lot of people claim, oh, I do this, that and all. I'll tell you a recent example. We had a nurse whom uh, Karthike knows, Rama. She runs our whole research center. This girl had an upper respiratory infection, I tell you. Fever, etc., etc. She took all the antibiotics and all. She was in bed with such bad sinusitis, this and that. We have a homeopath who is very good in this area. So we sent her to that homeopath. Three days later, she is back at work. Absolutely fine. I called her yesterday and said, Rama, how are you? She says, I am fine, sir. Fit as a fiddle. Ten days she suffered taking antibiotics. Each antibiotic pill you take kills millions of germs in your gut. And when the gut is damaged, your immune system is gone. The headquarters of your gut is in the immune system. That's why in America now, if you have a very bad infection, very bad infection with superbugs and nothing helps. Do you know the treatment? Give someone else a shit through a rails tube. And when once you replace the gut with the normal flora, the infection disappears in four hours. This is called fecal transplant. So America does it, so we accept it. Now we've gone one step further. In America you get poop capsules. Small capsules, five dollars. So it boosts your immune system. That is the strength of Ayurveda. What does Ayurveda say? Pancha karma. In pancha karma, you only boosting the immune system. I have a western medical doctor, a professor of radiology in a medical college in Maharashtra, who had a massive heart attack. And they did everything for him. Bypass surgery, this, that, but he was, he was not able to get up from bed. He said, I am going to use the Ayurvedic method. He caught hold of cow's cholesterol, which is a very good immune booster. And he has produced a tablet called Immugen. And uh, he has now got back. He doesn't take any medicine. And he is absolutely fine. He has left the medical college. And he is doing this business of selling immune boosters. So happy. His ejection fraction has come back to normal. He is 24 hours is working. And he has forgotten his heart. He is heartless now. That is the, the power. But then you should know when to mix, when to combine. If you go on saying that across the board, I'll say all the systems must come together, nothing will happen. Because they hate each other like, you know, mouse and the mongoose and the snakes. So because, what is the hatred, do you know? I'll give, take you to history because history, you learn from history. If you do not, 
you relive history